So if we think about it, if the exponentials sometimes don't have x-intercepts, logarithms are the opposite of that. So sometimes logarithms won't have y-intercepts, but they will always have an x-intercept, okay? Sometimes won't have y-intercepts. because of the fact that we can't plug a negative into a logarithm. So sometimes if we try to plug in 0 for x, we'll get a negative inside the logarithm, and that means that we don't have an x inter or a y-intercept. Excuse me. Sometimes we won't have a y-intercept. We'll always have an x-intercept. And again, you can kind of think about the graphs about these two, but... Um, Really, it just comes down to when you plug in 0, do you get a negative inside your logarithm? If you do, you can't do it. Okay, so let's look at number 36. That's the one you do have on your paper. And then I've got 37 through 40 up here, so you can use those. Um, starting with the x-intercepts, that's when y is 0. So set the log equal to 0. Now... Mm. Excuse me. We've got to solve, so that means we've got to get the logarithm by itself to begin with. We need to subtract 5 from both sides. Now, this is not a problem, okay? This is not a problem. A logarithm can equal a negative number because to get the x free right here, we need to write it in exponential form, which means that we're just raising 5 to a negative power. That is okay. Okay, it is okay to raise 5 to a negative power. That's just going to end up giving us a fraction, right? Um, and really, I'm fine with you leaving it like this. Get rid of the negative. Since 5 to the 5th is such a big number, I'm really fine with you leaving it as 1 over 5 to the 5th. And then minus 4 on the end. Okay, I'm fine with you leaving it there. So that's our x-intercept, 1 over 5 to the 5th. Now, if you really want to, yeah, you can type 5 to the 5th into your calculator, but you don't have to. Now, for our y-intercept, plug in 0. So y equals the log base 5 of 0 plus 4 plus 5. 0 plus 4 is 4. We cannot simplify log base 5 of 4 neatly. Okay, That's not a whole number. It's not 0. It's not 1. It's not something nice and neat. So I'm just going to leave it in that form. I'm going to leave it in logarithmic form. Now remember, again, you cannot change that 4. You can't add that 4 in the 5. The 5 is not inside the logarithm. It's separate from the logarithm, so you have to leave it like that. That is not log base 5 of 9. No, I, no, I don't have to because my variable is on the other side. My variable is by itself. The only reason why we would have to write an exponential form is if the variable was in the logarithm. Okay, so that's our y-intercept for that function. Okay, so 